How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to cut hay. Yes, cut it as hay, not just grass, and how you're going to be able to bale it at the exact same time. So the first mod that we're going to take a look at here today is the Swather Pack. This is by BC Bueller. Awesome little pack here. What it is, it's like a mower, um, but whenever you're using this header right here, it's actually going to make hay for you. You're not able to get grass at all out of this. Um, there's another header that's going to do that. We're going to take a look at it here in a minute. To find this combo, you're going to come down to mowers under your vehicles. You're going to go across. You see the ADCO Swather for $100,000. Now you are able to select between four different uh, brands of it. You've got a bunch of different wheel brands here. Also, your wheel setup. You can get all kinds of different things. And then your license plate, of course. And then to find the header, you're going to go down to mowers under your tools and you're going to go all the way over to the right. You can see that you've got the ADCO Razor Bar 16 foot plus Twin Max Conditioner. If you look up at the top, it says mowers cut grass. A tether turns grass around so it can dry faster. This right here is going to give you hay. You're not going to get a swath of grass. You're going to get a swath of hay. Same thing, Brands, Adco, Case, Massey Ferguson, Challenger, and Heston. You can also pick up the 5,230 foot right here. This is how you're going to be able to make your grass. Same thing, five different brands here to choose from. And your decal right here is going to say the same no matter which brand you have. It's just going to say 5,200, and it's a black and white decal. Now that we have our smaller header here on the Challenger version, you can see up in the top left-hand corner that we have two items on the front of our main piece of equipment. Well, the interesting thing, the front one doesn't actually do anything. What you have to do is select the one that's directly in front of the vehicle. You are going to be able to lower down. You are going to be able to turn it on. And for some reason, it turns on the front one also. Not sure why. The front one doesn't do anything. And as you can see, as we start going here, this is hey i can get out i can look at it and yeah it says grass harvested but that's hay texture y'all and i said at the beginning of the video i'm going to show you how you can bail this while you're cutting it all in one pass and the mod you're going to need is the pickup hitch for foragers this is by ross in mods it's intended for forage harvesters but i got a message from one of our members that was like hey man you need to check this out he was able to get it to attach right here so let me go ahead and show you how that's going to work. All you're going to do is fire up your engine. You're going to back up until you see your message. And there you go. Now, it's high enough off the ground that you're not really going to have any issues. And you may be wondering, well, this has a PTO. Yeah, somehow this is going to work, even though there's no option here for a PTO to make it look like it's right. It's going to work, though. So let's go ahead and back up to our baler now. You can see right there and all i need to do now is lower this thing down and turn it on now it's saying i don't have access to the land but you can see in the top left hand corner it is blue so as we start to move forward here back across the road into this little bit of hay that we have as i start to go across it and pick it up you can see the icon down there in the bottom right hand corner is showing hey we've got 923 liters now, one thing to be aware of with this combination right here, you're going to want a smaller baler on the back. The really big ones, this doesn't have quite enough horsepower to be able to pull them around and to actually move. They're so heavy. They're like 14, 15 tons. Um, it just doesn't have enough horsepower. The back end just really doesn't like to stay connected to the ground. And it just, you can't steer it at all. And I found that with the K brand here or the Vicon um, Fast Bale, it's gonna work out a lot better for you. And I'm gonna show off the fast bale version when we're doing grass, because I feel like that's an absolutely great way to be able to make silage. Don't think that you just have to make hay with this combo. Yes, you can make silage and you can make some pretty big bales and you can do it pretty fast. And another reason that I really like the fast bale is because you don't have this happen to you. Um, you know, with the normal K brand or any of the other round balers, you're, um, you're, you're going to have to stop. And if you don't, you, you have this. And then you have to come back and pick it up. And for those of you that bales just aren't your thing and you like to use forage wagons, well, I went ahead and grabbed this one right here. This is the Lizard Tardis XL. This is by Omatana. 
and I've got the 200,000 liter capacity one. And y'all, it was only going about three or four miles an hour. Pretty slow. It wouldn't let me turn at all. It's not the best combo. It worked in a straight line, you could see. Pretty good, but it was very difficult to try and even get it in place. Now, a smaller version might work. You know, there is a 50,000 liter version of this also in the same mod pack. But I don't know. I mean, it, just play around with it. See what you can come up with. Let me know down in the comments below if you find a combo that works. And like I mentioned a while ago, here is the setup for doing silage. Yes, you're going to be able to cut with this massive header right here. And it's just going to give you grass. And then you're going to be able to wrap it right here also. Now, you may notice that my wrapping is red instead of the traditional white, pink, or like green or blue. Well, that's because I'm using the selectable bale capacity pack by GH66 Mods. And what these bales allow you to do is to increase up to four times the amount of uh, mass that's inside a bale. I've got another video taking a look at these balers a little bit more in depth. I'm going to go and link it at the end of this video. And we're going to use the same rear attachment here, the pickup hitch for foragers. But we're definitely, definitely picking up a lot more material now than we did before. So as you guys can see, we have a 14,000 liter bale. It's going to come out. It's going to get wrapped super fast. And then it's just going to drop off the end. So I know it's slower. It's about seven miles an hour compared to some other ways. I believe it's the baler that's keeping it slow and not so much the mowing here because you got a lot of material. There's a lot of material going into that piece of equipment there to be able to wrap up your silage. Now, if you got a little bit more money floating around your farm, you can definitely do the same setup using the Krona Big M450. Exact same point on the rear. You can see it right there. And we've got the Cavernland version of the baler also, but it's going to do the exact same thing for you. And one thing to keep in mind is that you need to turn the baler on and have it started picking up your material before you actually send a worker off on its own. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, go and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my future tips and tricks and how-to videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.